Grass Pop Metal Meeting 2018. We're still at day three, and we are joined here in the studio by Zedra of Exodus. Welcome. What's up, man? Good to be here. How's everything? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Okay. We just finished. Yeah. How was the show? How's every show at Grass Pop? <laughs> Come on. We look forward to this one, especially. I mean, this is probably probably one of the longest ones that have been going. So us as being bands, where you know you look on the itinerary at the certain ones. You know, there's this one and a few others, and uh -huh. always great. Grass Pop treats us so well, and the fans are so responsive, and yeah. just having a fun, having a Do blast. You know how many times you've played here before? I'm going to say four or yeah, five. Oh. I think five. You're getting a grasp of veteran. I, I know. I get, do, do I get my, like, a color? <laughs> yeah, so I, is there a badge or something I get? I've, I get my patches after a while, the grass pop uh, uh, general or something. Yeah. Now, you guys are on tour. Yes. Um, crazy stuff happens on tour. Um, I heard a strange story about a moose. We, unfortunately. Well, I was up in the back lounge watching a movie, uh -huh. and all of a sudden the bus went Bam! And it was like, whoa, I thought, you know, who knows, we had popped a tire or something. Uh -huh. And then they pulled the bus over, and I'm like, oh, my God, I hope we didn't kill somebody. And yeah. when what had happened is, is you know, in Norway, uh -huh. there's mooses in Norway, <laughs> and his timing wasn't really all that well. He stepped out in front of the bus when the bus was going probably about 65 or yeah. 70 miles an hour. Oh, wow. And... Wow. Um, they sent a hunter into the uh, woods because uh -huh. he didn't die right there, but okay. he died. I mean, they ripped his horn right off out of his yeah. head, and our bus was all smashed in the front. Really? Had we been in a car, we probably would have been it really hurt. Wow. I mean, the bus, we had to re replace the whole windshield and, uh -huh. and the door windshield, and the front's all smashed, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, come on, a moose is yeah. huge, so, and we ripped his antler off, so he must have... Ran into the road right as we were coming off. Yeah. So, a hunter found him. I guess he was. They put him down, obviously, because yeah, that's yeah. what they do. Yeah. I guess it happens a lot up there. Yeah, so probably. they're used to it. Yeah. So, they knew what to do. Now you guys are on tour. Um, you talk about Norway. Now you're in Belgium. You travel a lot. You must we have do. seen a big part of the world. Sure. But did you also see a big part of the countries? Yeah, because you know we've been coming here since '85, uh -huh. and so there's always been those times where, like last week, we had two days off in Copenhagen, oh, wow. yeah. and you know when you're doing nothing in Copenhagen, we went to Christiania, you know, of course, <laughs> and went and hung out, and you know just and go we go see the sights because when you're in the United States, our country's only a couple of hundred years old. Uh -huh. We go to see cathedrals here that were built in 1300. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to us, it's real history, and and it's real interesting for us. Oh, yeah. And, and what is one of the coolest things you've seen in Belgium, for example? Do you know stuff like that? Oh, in I Belgium. I mean, if, if you're here in, in... I'll say this. I don't drink alcohol, uh -huh. but when I'm in Belgium, I drink the beer. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's the best beer in the world. Yeah. Everybody knows that. I mean, I don't care Germans. You guys all make great beer, but <laughs> Belgians make the best beer and the best chocolate. Sorry. <laughs> Bar none. You'll gain weight in Belgium. No problem, you know? It's the way it works, so... No, we love we love coming through here. There's so much history. We've been coming here for for years. Um, you know, obviously Antwerp is a is a famous city. Uh -huh. You know, and so we've had time over the years to go and yeah, peek yeah, out and yeah. stuff. We have friends from Belgium that come. This one guy, he comes to every Belgian show and he brings us Trappist beers. You obviously know what your dad Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah, the best monks make the best beer, and so we get. That cheese, all that we, we're we're very well cultured when yeah. we come over here. <laughs> Now um, you got to help me out here with the year, but um, you played a show at Dynamo, and that was, if I'm correct, the first album that featured you. Could that be a that, live album, live at Dynamo? No, that was uh, Dynamo, 1988. 1988. Yes, yes. There's gonna be a reissue of that album. I, I don't heard. know. Is there yeah, really? That I, would be great. Yeah. Are you in any way nostalgic? I think so because, oh man, I look back at those times. Uh, I mean, we were just talking about that the other day. You know, it was, and, and unfortunately, you know, Vinnie Paul passed. Yeah. We found that out. And Pantera, we gave them their first tour. They opened for Exodus and Suicidal. Mm -hmm. And Gary Holt and I were talking, Gary's not with us right now, obviously. And we were talking today about how 
I just keep memories from that, you know. So I'm very nostalgic. I, I, I love the history, the history of Bay Area thrash and from the beginning when I could just remember the Metallica house and just things, you know, from that. So I'm very nostalgic when it comes to that type of stuff, you know. And metal people are so receptive. We're like a family. If you love heavy metal, you love it forever. It's not like something you get into. You know, I liked heavy metal when I was a kid, or you never hear anybody saying, I was listening to Slayer for like a summer. If you're in, you're, you're in. in, right. Yeah. So that's why I, I think longevity is the reason why we can do that is because the fans are so responsive yeah. and they're always, you know, supporting. I mean, that tent was packed today in yeah. there. Of, and every time singing the songs back and forth, pitting for the Toxic Waltz, Wall of Death for a Strike of the Beast. I mean, they know the drill, right? Yeah, so, yeah. great times. Yeah. Now, you talk about uh, Gary yourself. He's right. on tour now, or he's preparing with Slayer. Say right, farewell. they just did the States. Yeah. Is that something that you keep in mind? Is it something you think about, a farewell tour or a goodbye? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, got, so I like doing this. Uh -huh. I, I'm not tired of this yet. Yeah. You know, and, I, and for some bands, if you know, that's where your head's at, that's great. And I understand that if you don't want to be here, don't come out. You know, it's not mm -hmm. something that you want to do. But for me, I still enjoy it. I still have yeah. a good time. I'm having a good time on stage. Very fortunate to be able to do this yeah. at the age. I mean, I mean, Exodus has been, our first record came out in 1985. Yeah. It was 33 years ago. Yeah. And to still have younger fans and the older fans still coming in droves to see us, it's, it's you know, We'll be doing it like I tell them every night. As long as you guys are coming, man, we'll still be here. <laughs> We can't afford not to, right? <laughs> Zetro, I want to thank you very much for thank joining you. us Thank you. It's here. great to be here. Let's say the next time you play Grass Pop, we'll make sure you get that badge. I want my badge, my <laughs> pin, my, 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 my six-time pin. And I'm sure the next time we do come back, it will be with Gary Holt. Great. Full exodus. Hope to see you then. We will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.